One does not simply walk into Mordor. The land of shadow. Welcome everyone. Um, in today's abbreviated Shadowcast, I wanted to make mention of the cast changes uh, in Amazon's The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. In particular, I wanted to talk about the character of Adar, who turned out to be the star of season one, in, in my humble opinion. Um, I'm going to discuss that today. Uh, and secondly, I wanted to talk briefly about uh, The Lord of the Rings, The War of the Rohirrim. Uh, this is an upcoming animated feature which comes out next year. Uh, and I did just want to talk about it because I haven't had a chance to bring it up in any of the shadow casts thus far. Um, so I'll discuss that a little bit today. Uh, and finally, uh, I did want to let you guys know that I have not been intentionally uh, ghosting you guys. Um, I have uh, uh, I've had to take on a second job to fulfill some of the obligations I have financially, uh, and uh, that has taken up a great deal of my time. And the free time I do have, I have been putting into uh, finishing up the first novel in my Rivendell trilogy. Uh, the first novel is called The Wings of Shadow. And if you're interested in knowing more about Rivendell, uh, which is, uh, uh, I, ha I actually have a Rivendell uh, YouTube channel, which you can go and check out up here. Um, and it tells you a little bit about the you know, the journey I have been on to uh, write this first novel and the second two follow-up novels to complete the trilogy. Uh, it's a supernatural thriller with dark fantasy elements, um, and I have been influenced by uh, the likes of Stephen King uh, and, of course, J.R.R. Tolkien. Uh, so I hope uh, those influences will make for a great novel. Uh, so anyway, if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and begin today's Shadowcast. In the land of Mordor, where the shadows lie. Hey everybody, before I begin, I did want to tell you guys that the uh, Rivendoa Wings of Shadow book cover that I showed you earlier, you can see here, um, was actually just a mock-up. I'm actually still writing the book itself and am shooting for getting it done hopefully by the end of this year and a little bit into the beginning of January. At least the flesh it all out and then begin the full uh, drafting process. Uh, yeah, what you see here is just the um, the book uh, cover sleeve, spine, and back cover uh, that I designed. I really kind of wanted just to see what it looked like and kind of the vision of it in my mind as I'm writing it. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump into news on the uh, Rings of Power uh, casting. Production on the Rings of Power Season 2 began in October on the new location sets in the UK. There is no firm date yet for its release, but it's expected to premiere in the last quarter of 2023. There will be seven new actors added in reoccurring roles. The big news is that Joseph Maul, who played Adar and became a standout character in the first season, has left the show and is now being replaced by Sam Hazeldine. The recasting decision was made months ago, and, and Maul did not participate in any of the worldwide promotional events for the series. I must say I'm very disappointed that Joseph Maul will no longer be playing the role of Adar. There was no press release from Amazon or the Rings of Power about the change in casting. But Maul posted several tweets in answer to fan questions, which you guys can read here. 
With all due respect, the explanation leaves much to be desired and feels a bit evasive to me. I expect we will hear more about the true story in time. I believe Sam Hazeldine has the right look and temperament to make the role of Adar his own. But all the same, it's a big disappointment. I hate to see a character change actors uh, in, the, in the beginning stages of a show. It just doesn't feel right. But we'll see how it goes. I really loved the way Maul kept Adar on a razor's edge between uh, sort of being very evil and also being sort of uh, broken and uh, very pitiful at the same time. He sort of uh, balanced those two things uh, in his character or his characterization of Adar. Made into a new and ruined form of life. You are one of them, are you not? The Moriondor, the sons of the dark, the first orcs. Uruk. We prefer Uruk. This brings me to a rumor about Halbrand Sauron. Some are saying that the actor Charlie Vickers who played Halbrand in season one, may also be leaving the show. I personally think this is a rumor with no validity or truth, and springs out of the Adar recasting. There's nothing more than internet gossip on this one, I'm afraid, but I did want to make mention of it. This news about the Rings of Power is rounded out with six additional cast members that are being added to the show uh, in reoccurring roles. We have Gabriel uh, Aquadike, Yazan Zaitz Atour, Ben Daniels, Amelia Kenworthy, Naya Tao, and Nicholas Woodson. I hope I didn't mangle those names too badly. There is nothing about the new characters that is yet known, so we're just going to have to wait and see to get more. Now, on to what we know about The Lord of the Rings, The War of the Rohirrim, which is being produced by Warner Brothers and is brought to life by Sola Entertainment. The War of the Rohirrim has a release date set for April 12th of 2024. So not next year, but the year after. It will be a 2D animated film that tells a story set approximately 180 years before the events of The Lord of the Rings. The film will detail the violent wars between the Rohirrim and the wild men of Dunland that occupy the lands west of Rohan. The central protagonist of the story will be the infamous Helm Hammerhand, the ninth king of Rohan, after whom the fortress of Helm's Deep was given its name. Hammerhand was a legendary figure in Tolkien canon. In particular, his inclination for slaying his enemies with his bare hands, which is how he got the name Hammerhand. There are some heavy hitters in the cast. Miranda Otto will be reprising her role as Eowyn from the Lord of the Rings films and will narrate the story. The cast also includes Brian Cox as the infamous Hammerhand. I'm really excited about the work that's going to be done by Sola Digital Arts. They are the ones creating the animation for the film. They created Blade Runner Black Lotus, and here you can see some of the work that they produced uh, for, that, for that film. And they also worked on the action RPG uh, Elden Ring, which definitely has more of a fantasy look to it and kind of gives us an indication of uh, what the, um, the film may look like. They have also released, and I think they're the ones who designed uh, 
these uh, sort of imaginings of what the film may look like. And here are some of those images, uh, which I kind of mixed all together uh, to give you an idea of what the animation may look like. I'm planning a more in-depth shadow cast, which I'm going to devote to this project as we get closer to its release date and we get a little bit more information. So I hope you guys uh, will keep an eye open and, and I'll, as any new news comes out, I'll go ahead and post it here in our Mordor shadow casts. Okay, everyone, um, that's all for today. This is just going to be a short shadow cast, kind of get my feet back in the water. Um, I'm still planning a full review of season one of The Rings of Power, which I promised you guys. Um, I wanted to give myself time to kind of digest the, the full eight episodes um, and before I do the final review. And I also plan to binge uh, all eight episodes right before I do the final uh, review in a uh, shadow cast. Um, in the next video, my next shadow cast video will be a lore video about the Morgoth cultists. Um, that I have been calling the Goths for short uh, in the uh, series. Um, I, th this uh, cult developed after the fall of Morgoth, the first Dark Lord of Middle-earth. Um, I wanted to take a look at the Tolkien canon and compare it to what we have seen thus far in the series and see how those two things match up and maybe explore uh, that a little bit more and maybe make some determinations about what we might see in season two of the Rings of Power. But this is primarily a lore video about the uh, Morgoth cultists. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for today. Um, so until next time, I hope to see you traveling in the far east of Middle Earth in the dark lands of